out of those wildfires that are raging out west. California emergency officials say more than 115,000 acres. Governor Jerry Brown declared a state of emergency. Behind me, you can see those fierce flames shooting up. There is a massive plume of smoke. Well, when there is fire, there is smoke. It is just traveling all over California and then going east Nevada, eastern Oregon, Arizona, and New Mexico area. Everybody's enjoying the smoke that we're producing here in the state of California right now. You have to remember that the particulate matter uh, is extremely, extremely small. Even though you see this haze and you think that there could be fairly large pieces of matter in the atmosphere, they are like 1 60th of the diameter of a human hair and ingesting these things um, is not good, uh, especially in the long term uh, is when they find their way to plant themselves in the lungs. Wildfire smoke contains many things, but broadly you can say particulate matter, uh, gaseous chemicals, uh, and water vapor. When it comes to large particles, uh, you may have symptoms, uh, nose irritation, eye irritation, and stuff like that, but it's the smaller particles, they can be inhaled and they go into your lungs and they cause problems. The chemicals such as benzene and formaldehyde, they are carcinogens. They can cause cancer. Some of the things that you can actually do immediately is to limit your activities outside. And if your air conditioning system has a recirculate and you want to recirculate the air that's in the house and not pull air from outside. One of the other things you can do is have an air purifier in your home and this will reduce the pollutants in the air. If you are going outside, wearing a regular dust mask really does not benefit you at all. But you can buy an N95 mask at your um, local hardware store. This helps reduce the amount of particles that you're inhaling. These fires happen every year. So the best thing you can do is be prepared.